Tiruvannamalai as a as a city and Tiruvannamalai as a district can become a hub for technology certainly it can become a hub for electronics manufacturing can become a hub for uh, tourism uh, whether it is coastal kerala or it is northeast of india people have been scared for too long and frightened deliberately by saying christians will not vote for bjp muslims will not vote for bjp bjp is a north indian party all this narrative today has played itself out an overactive imagination of an ideology that is uh, still inspired by stalin karl marx and mao zedong trying to preach uh, to us what tolerance and uh, inclusiveness is the opposition have no ideas to compete with us therefore their only ideas are ideas of division their ideas are only of appeasement even when they have to use lies to appease Excitement goes through us when Rajiv Chandrasekhar entered the Jalan TV office. We were all eagerly waiting to meet the Rajiv Chandrasekhar, the icon, the top of the town now. He is representing the BJP, the NDA for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections in Tirunelveli constituency. As we all know, the Lok Sabha elections are nearing in, and in Tiruvanduram is happening on April 26. All political parties and alliances have been declaring their list of candidates. In Tiruvanduram, Rajiv Chandrasekhar from the NDA is going to contest against Panniyam Ravindran of the Left Front and Shashi Tharoor of the Congress. So when Rajiv Chandrasekhar visited the office of Jalam TV, he spoke about his vision for Tiruvanduram. his plan how he will execute if he is sent from the tiruvannam constituency it was a great opportunity for jalam english to have interacted with rajiv chandrasekhar the minister the entrepreneur and the technocrat so my first question to rajiv chandrasekhar was when he is known as a technocrat what are his plans to involve the common folks into his vision of development and this is what he said no calling me a technocrat i don't know if it is a compliment or it is derogatory because i have been 18 years in public life i have been a member of parliament with a stellar record of performance for 18 years i have served my country for 18 years and i have been in public life from the age of 42 uh, so uh, i don't i yes i have had a long innings in technology but today i am a public servant and i am in public life to serve my background in technology certainly helps me in doing things in the technology economy digital economy where which i have been given a responsibility by the prime minister in skilling he has given me the responsibility in jal shakti he has given me the responsibility but in terms of our basic ethos of the bjp and prime minister narendra modi ji working for the benefit of people not imposing our ideas on people but taking their ideas and making it our ideas and our mission is our bjp way of th- uh, living and thinking and politics sabka saath sabka vikas no parimbo i mean when we say that it is not our ideas being given to every sabka saath and sabka vikas it is the ideas of the people the expectations of the people their aspirations and ambitions we make it our mission and when we make it our mission we make sure every indian regardless of caste community geography gender get the benefits of that mission so this is our ideology and it is in the context of that ideology succeeding that the opposition have no ideas to compete with us therefore their only ideas are ideas of division their ideas are only of appeasement even when they have to use lies to appease as you saw in the case of ca the response by pindra vijayan and uh, the congress rajesh chandrasekhar then spoke about the lies propagated by chief minister pindra vijayan and his cabinet ministers he stressed on the matter on caa and when i asked him how he plans to address caa in tiruvannamalai he said this i mean uh, this is the you know uh, an overactive imagination 
of an ideology that is uh, still inspired by Stalin, Karl Marx and Mao Zedong trying to preach uh, to us what tolerance and uh, inclusiveness is. This is the uh, what to of the nth order. Uh, and if there is an ideology today in India that normalizes violence, that normalizes uh, harming uh, and exploiting, it is Marxism, it is communism. And they are teaching us liberal values. This is, you know, irony died and went and became a communist member when they, when they say things like this. So, look, they know that this, this politics of development is a politics that is now today unstoppable. Uh, whether it is coastal Kerala or it is northeast of India, people have been scared for too long and frightened deliberately by saying Christians will not vote for BJP, Muslims will not vote for BJP, BJP is a North Indian party. All this narrative today has played itself out. This is a, our party and our leader works for every Indian, regardless of faith, and our party delivers, our government delivers for every Indian, and has done so for the last 10 years and will do so for the next 10 years. Rajiv Chandrasekhar was optimistic in gaining lots of fans and followers for the BJP in Kerala after this Lok Sabha elections. When I asked him about the turnover in BJP after the Lok Sabha elections, he said, No, I don't know. I am not, uh, not an astrologer. I am not a, a poll predictor. But I feel that in South India, which everybody has said in the North, uh, everybody in the South, including the Dravidian parties, keep saying, that BJP will be kept away, we will be kept away. The Congress and the left from 2014 election and 2019 election have played this game of transferring votes, cross voting to keep the BJP out. This election will prove Telangana, Andhra, Karnataka, of course we are successful, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. BJP will have strong support and following from the people of these five states. He then praised Srivantaram having diverse arenas to project its importance. He spoke about the areas of development in the Srivantaram city and what he plans to do if he is elected in this constituency. No, Srivantaram as a, as a city and Srivantaram as a district can become a hub for technology, certainly. It can become a hub for electronics manufacturing, can become a hub for uh, tourism, okay, sustainable wellness tourism, health tourism. These are three areas that Trivandrum, without any challenge to environment, can create investments, can create jobs, and create prosperity, not just in Karkotam, but Karkotam, Tirundavaram, Neemam, Vatirkava, and Parashala, Nyatingara, and Kohala. So this is the model that we have to this and especially in coastal Kerala, especially in the three districts of Parashala, Niyatingara and uh, Kovalam, there is a lot of work to be done to bring back the disrupted livelihoods of uh, fishermen that has uh, been going on for the last five years with no response from either the state government or the MP. He didn't forget to boost the morale of the voters in Thirundaram city when he said, the, the, the voters of Tiruvandaram, I, I request them in these elections to make a clean break from the past, to elect an MP who will work with Prime Minister Narendra Modiji, will work as a minister in Prime Minister Narendra Modiji's team, to really put Tiruvandaram's future back on track and create both development and prosperity and opportunity to the people of Tiruvandaram. Namaskar. Though there were a lot more to ask Rajesh and the Shekhar, his hectic schedule, his busy schedule kept me from asking more. Rajesh and Shekhar is set to make a lot of difference in Thirundaram cities and he's going to give a tough competition to his fellow contenders, Panim Ravindran and Shashi Tadur.